Hi there, welcome back to Resin by Drew. Now today I'm going to do the second part of the beginner's, beginner's guide to uh, 3D blooms. Now this is also an experiment for myself. As I said yesterday, I know a lot of people have had success in doing 3D blooms with um, Art Pro, Resin Pro, Art Pro. Um, so that's the resin that I'm going to be trying today. Um, I've made my resin up. Now it's, it has a working time of 40 minutes. So I've left the resin for 15 minutes. Um, it's a warm day again. So I'm just going to check the temperature. It goes quite white, this resin, as you mix it. And there, you can see there are quite a lot of bubbles in there. So let's just check the temperature. Okay, so we're on 41.3. So I'm going to take out my white, uh, my pigment, sorry let me start again i'm going to take out the resin that i'll be using for my white pigment put that in a separate tub there and then i'm going to share this between the molds i'm using a, a mold from molds and shapes again it's the holographic square coaster mold this time instead of the round one as you can see this is coming out quite thick and quite white now I'm, i am going to use um uh my embossing tool on it to get rid of some bubbles because there there are more bubbles in this usually the higher viscosity the resin the more bubbles you have the downside for me for this resin is the fact that i've then got to go back and put um a heat resistant top coat on now i find it easier to put the heat resistant coat on while the uh, resin is still in the mold but because the bottom of the mold because the bottom of the coaster the bit that's in the bottom of the mold becomes the top of the coaster um, it's not possible to put the um, heat resistant layer on until the end unless you do it before you start which obviously I haven't done so I will have to do that at the end which is one downside for me for using this resin but I did say that I would try it and we'll see what success we get with the 3D blooms because you don't always need a heat resistant coat it's only really when you're doing coasters or food things that you do need that heat resistant element to it so I did say we would try it and see how we got on with the 3D blooms. So I'm just going to put my embossing tool on and um, get rid of some of these bubbles. I don't know if you can see or I don't know if you could see while I was doing it but you can actually see it's becoming much more clear this one's quite white but the one that I've done with the embossing tool is becoming quite clear which means it's getting rid of the bubbles they're looking much more clear now I've also just given the um, the pot that I'm going to be using for my white resin a quick blast but I don't want to give that too much of a blast because I don't want it to heat up too much so my next task is to make up my white resin so my resin and my white pigment of choice as always is the resi tint max in titanium white so I'm going to mix that up scrape all the goodness from the sides on the bottom and give it a good stir And just the same as we did last time, I'm going to scrape off the front and the back of the stick, leaving hardly anything on there at all. I'm going to pop that into my tub and give that a good stir. I 
I'm going to be adding eight drops of the Pinata Pearl alcohol ink. As I said, it's not necessary. A lot of people don't use the alcohol inks at all, but I, I like the effect that it gives, so I will be adding eight drops. tissue so that I can wipe off my stick and then I can check the colour when I'm ready. The, sorry I've not even given the alcohol ink a shake yet. Let me give the alcohol ink a good shake. This does separate I've added my alcohol ink. I'm going to give it a stir again and then we'll check the colour of it and make sure we're happy with it. As you can see, you can just see the stick through the, as it sl starts to slide off and it just gets the, you, you get, you, can't speak. As it starts to slide off and it's not quite as thick in, in that one place just on the this top edge of the stick you can just see through the stick which tells me it's the right colour. So I'm going to put that into my piping bag and then we'll talk about the alcohol inks that we're going to use. So I'm just going to do alcohol inks the same as I did yesterday on the, um, the other tests that we did or well, the other's beginners the other beginners version should I say this one's more of a test for me today um, because like I say I know a lot of people do use this and have a lot of success with it but I've been meaning to try it for a while now and I haven't so now is a good time to try or at least I think it is so the alcohol inks that I'm going to be using they're all brand resin 8 I'm going to be using Bluebird Chi Chi Purple Cosmo and Eggnog. I'll start with the three in the older style bottles first because they're the ones that I'm likely to struggle with getting the lids off. I'll just give them a quick shake first. So I'm going to start with Chi Chi. I'm just going to get like yesterday I'm just going to put four drops in the middle do bluebird next Purple Cosmo I've actually managed with the lids on all of those quite well I usually do struggle with the lids on these ones and then one of my personal favourites which is the Eggnog and I really do like this one So that's all the alcohol inks in place. So now I'm going to take my piping bag with the white pigment in. I'm just going to snip a tiny bit off the end. And check the flow. okay 
think we'll do the same as yesterday and we'll do a few different shapes so we'll start off like we did yesterday with a spiral I'm actually going to snip off a tiny fraction more just because it's not coming out as quite as thick as I'd, I'd like it to so I'm just going to snip off a fraction more that's better might be a bit too thick now but we'll be okay so we started with a spiral this, this one can be um, we'll do flowers in a circle for this one or flowers in circles should I say so sort of round flower shapes I think the hole is a little bit big actually to be fair should give it a good chance to bloom though I think on this one we'll do um, a sort of diamond shape, a triangular shape spiral within a spiral and on this one let's do um, let's do a square on this one because I did a square the other day and it turned out beautifully so let's do a square on this one I do hope this works because like I say it would be good to have a backup that I know I can rely on to give good blooms it looks like that's this is starting to bloom already which as I said yesterday is usually a good sign if it's starting to bloom before you've even finished so that's good um, but yeah I would like to have a backup that I know I can rely on for good blooms although I still wouldn't sway away from my craft resin because as I keep saying it's got the heat resistance built into it so it saves to it, it takes an extra step out of it for me so I'm just going to go along with my dotting tool now like I did yesterday and just draw some uh, lines in the flowers to make them look like flowers I'm not dragging my dotting tool along the bottom of my mould because I, I don't want to damage my mould and I don't need to. I just need to take it through the top of my resin, that's all. So this was the spiral. I'll take it out a little bit as well on this one. I'm trying to keep them similar to the ones that we did yesterday so that we can compare the results. But at the same time have them slightly different if that makes sense I'm just going to do a little swirl in the middle now you don't have to swirl in the middle sometimes I do swirl sometimes I don't swirl but a swirl in the middle does give a nice effect so the same on this one I'm just going to come in from the corners and then from the middle Yeah, it does look as if it's starting to bloom already, which, as I say, is a good sign. And just do a little swirl in the middle. This one, I'm just going to define the flower pattern a little bit more than it already is. Again, just do another little swirl in the middle. 
and then the same on this one just come in from the corners and then I'll come in from the middle take the other ones outwards. And a little swirl in the middle. And that's it. So that's all I'm going to do with those for today now. I'm going to leave them to cure up overnight and I will be back tomorrow um, to put to put a back layer on do if we need to. I think we will need to put a backing layer on because I haven't filled them up and as I explained yesterday I, I tend not to fill them up I like the opportunity to either put a coloured backing layer on put some glitter on or clear or just leave them as they are um, but um, I'm one that doesn't like too much negative space although it is growing on me I must admit but um, because I don't like too much negative space I like to see how they bloom and then decide if I'm going to put a backing layer on so I like to leave myself with that option so that's it for now so I will be back tomorrow um, so we can have a look at these together I will come back and show you if I put a backing layer on what I, what sort of backing layer I do with it just in the same way as I did on the last video and that's it so I'm going to say bye for now and I will see you tomorrow hi welcome back i'm just going to add some glitter to the back of these um, coasters i said I, I was leaving a little space as i normally do in case i wanted to add glitter or a mica layer or a colored layer um, and i've decided i'm going to add a glittered layer so it's um it's a champagne colored glitter um i've just mixed some into the resin well i'm just stirring it into the resin now i don't want too much i just want um, a hint really so i've not put a lot in that should be okay they look like they've bloomed beautifully from the back so hopefully they will be the same at the front so i'm just going to add this glitter and then i'll leave them to cure overnight again I'm going to use my stick to push the glitter out to the sides a little bit. As I don't want a lot of glitter, I just want a hint really. I just think it should make a nice hint of champagne coloured. And there we go, that's it. So that's all I need to do with them until tomorrow. And tomorrow we'll be back for the demoulding. So until then, I'll say bye for now and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Hi there, welcome back. Um, I'm going to demold these coasters that we've done. We put the glitter on yesterday, so that's cured up now. Um, I'll demold them all and then we'll have a look at them. going to have to think so I can't remember what style leaves or what style petals I did on each so I have to see if I can remember if not I'll have to go back through the video and check right so there's the first one let me get some black card that's bloomed beautifully I think that was the spiral I'm sure that was a spiral one it has bloomed beautifully. Let me see if I can pick some of the holographic effects up. I think you might be getting some just there. 
The only problem now is that these need a top coat. They need a heat resistant top coat. And if you put um, a top coat on holographic or on a holographic effect, you lose the holographic effect, which is another reason why I like um, craft resin, the brand craft resin, because you put the craft resin down as your base layer and you've already got then got your heat resistant layer you I'll, I'll lose the heat, I'll lose the holographic effects on these now because I've got to put a, um, a heat resistant layer on whereas if I use craft resin the heat resistant layer is already there if that makes sense there's another one that's bloomed beautifully I can't remember what patterns I did on these ones It has bloomed beautifully. That was definitely a petal one. I like the swirl in the middle. Let's see if I can get you some holographic effects again. I'll do some still shots. That usually picks up the holographic effect the best. I think you might be getting some just there. And the last one, this was the one that I did that was um, square, I'm sure this was the square one, the square um, spirals if that makes sense. And again that's bloomed beautifully. So we know that the Art Pro, the Resin Pro Art Pro just bloom beautifully but as I say the only problem with it is that now I need to put a top coat on for the heat resistant layer and I will lose the holographic effect. I think I don't I'm not going to do that I don't think I'm not going to sell these what I might do is just use them and give them away at some point um, as um, coasters that are designed for cool drinks rather than hot drinks because I think it's such a shame to lose that holographic effect so they've all turned out beautifully anyway um, I'm really happy with those um, as you can see they've all bloomed so we know that the um, Resin Pro Art Pro works as I say um, so that's two resins that we know that works um, so that's it so I will be back with another experiment soon what I might do next or what I might do in the next it, couple of videos is um, do some different styled um, petals so we can go over some different styled petals and the effects that you get from each. I know we've done a couple of different ones on this video and the last video that I did the other beginner's guide um, but uh, maybe we can do some different styled um, petals um, and show you the different effects that you get from the different styles that you pipe etc or pour um, or um, dab with the silicon tool uh, which I think is a really nice effect so we might do some of that um, coming up in the next few videos but I hope this has helped if you have any questions at all please don't hesitate to ask in the, um, co the comments below the description box below um, ask questions in the comments please interact I love interacting with you all um, so even if you're shy you, you're never going to meet these people who might read your questions so you don't need to be embarrassed even if you think it's a silly question as I said in my last video the only silly question is a question that you don't ask because if you if you're wondering the one thing I can guarantee you someone else is wondering the same thing and if there's any way at all that I can help someone get these bloom effects then I will do it because there's nothing better than seeing a, a nice bloom effect and knowing that you've achieved that yourself um, so please ask questions um, and uh, anyway I'll, I'll stop rambling for now and I will be back with another experiment soon so I'll say bye for now and I'll see you shortly bye